How's your food? My Kentucky fried chicken was good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I be free to say something? <laughs> Pastor promised me he won't be offended. <laughs> Is he gonna keep on loving me? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> There is a big uh, mission for this church. A vision demands faith. A lot of faith. A vision demands, demands prayer. Discipline. Committed people. Uh, but the mission also needs money. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Don't look at me like that. With that Chinese look. I am not after your money. I am not, I don't want their money. No, no, no. No. And I don't come for, for money. I don't pay for money. No, 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 no. But, but I, I want them to be blessed. Okay. I'm very careful with, with, with money. But money is part of the kingdom. And I think that sometimes we preachers want to be so careful and so shy. The way we collect offerings, we don't want people to be offended. Because we don't want people to think that we want their, their money. But then, then, we are not helping them. Because we are not showing them how to be blessed. That is a blessing in giving. Now, we, we cannot uh, we cannot allow the offering to be something separated from the service. Because offering is not giving money. Offering is worshipping with money. It's not only giving, it's not only taking, uh, I mean, taking uh, an example. Uh, this is Brother Mao. <laughs> no. It's not only giving money. No. You do you do that with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with the poor in the street. You give a coin. Or with something that is poor, you give a coin. But it's different with God. God wants you to worship Him. God wants you to worship Him. So in, in, the, in the Old Testament, when people brought money to the temple, the church, church, it was always an act of worship. So, I want my people to be blessed. But if I don't follow the scriptures, there is a way to be blessed. The Bible says, bring the tithe and the offerings. The offerings, 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 offerings. Uh, to the storehouse. 
来到这个神的殿宇，神的神的房子里。To the treasure, to to the treasure in the house of God. 呃，放在这个神的这个呃仓库。I know the verses. Can I just say、okay. the verses? Okay. A treasure. I mean, the place like 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 the. 就是呃呃。The Bible call it. The Bible call it. I'm gonna show you. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here, here. here. Come here, come, come here. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. Oh, 你们将当当纳的十分之一全部送入仓库。Thank you. See, bring it. That way, you bring it. And I know the pastor is trying to be so Chinese. I know my pastor is very, very Chinese. This kind of face. And so evangelical. <laughs> very careful. Maybe have a little box there. And and he say, well, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm gonna wait for God to move onto the people. Ah, I'm We are not manipulating people. We are giving them a reason to give. 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 We are giving And then, and then we pray for the people. Then we will pray for the people. We pray God's blessing upon them. We also will 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 pray God's Uh, Or it could be taking the baskets to to the people. Oh, maybe sometimes it will let the baskets to the people. But there has to be a time in the service where people worship God with their money. During the service, because it is giving us as a spiritual as praying. Because giving and prayer are the same thing. Giving us as a spiritual as singing and worshiping God. Because our giving is spiritual. Because my money is God's blessing upon my life. And when I bring money into into in in into the the house of God, into 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 the house of God, into into Of every one I give, of every hundred one I, I give God ten. Because it belongs to God. And when I give God ten percent, I stay in ninety percent. The fact that I gave God ten percent, the fact that I gave God ten percent, causes the ninety percent to be blessed. And, and. Ninety percent blessed by God. That, uh, ninety percent get the blessing. Will last more than hundred percent without God's blessing. It continues longer than the hundred percent without God's blessing. And that's the blessing of giving. Ah, this is giving's blessing. So, 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 so,
And I want you to join me if you want. To. I want you to join me if you want. I'm going to bless you. That's why I do for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you open the windows of heaven. I pray that you open the windows of heaven. Upon this beautiful church. In this beautiful church. And Father, God, teach us. So, please, please teach us how to see giving. As an act of worship. So in the name of Jesus, we bring our money into the kingdom of God. We are not giving money. We are we are worshiping God with our money. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So come and bless the church. Come. This was the church. This is for me. Hallelujah. The Bible said that God loves a happy giver. Amen. Yes. Worship. You are worshiping. It's worship. Sometimes I I I tell the people come with your offering, speaking in tongues. See the Baba Kosha. Yes. Yes. And you love God. I know you love God. I know you love God. I mean, people who love God, it's easy for them to give unto God. Father, multiply the money in this church. Father, this church needs more money. They need a lot of money to do the will of God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. You know, when you worship God with your money, joy is released. Joy is released. Do you feel the joy now? Because the Bible says it's more blessed to give than than to receive. There's joy in giving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. You can move that. You can take this bag. Amen. Part of one. Uh, Are you mad at me now? You can answer. Can you answer? No. Are you happy? Are you happy? Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Remember what, what I told you in the office. There's a difference between being 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 humble and being and being weak. Uh, Moses was very, very humble. Moses is very, very humble. But he was very strong. But he was very strong. So the pastor of this church. So this church's pastor. He's a great person. He's very humble. He's very humble. He's very humble. He's very meek. He's very humble. But he's gonna be strong too. 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 But he's gonna But I said I cannot wait. But I said I have to do it today. Amen. And now, if you don't want to come back, that's up to you. I already did it. Amen. I mean, we have to be open to different things. We need to be open to different things. Yes. I mean, the enemy of progress is tradition. The enemy of progress is tradition. But that's the way we have done it. Since the times of wash my knee, wash my knee, wash my knee. The guy of the book. The guy of the book. Oh. Oh. Ah, Nito Shen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's the way the church has done it since the times of Washington. Ah, 就是当当时那个尼托森教会就这么做的。But that's tradition. 
Let's do it in a different way. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Do, do you want me to preach now? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Okay. I'm going to preach that the kingdom of God is near. I, I'm not talking about the, the second coming. I'm talking about the kingdom of God is near. When I talk about kingdom, it means the domain of the king. Kingdom is the place where the king rules. The church is supposed to preach the kingdom. Mark chapter 1 verse 14 and 15. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and saying, "The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel." Mark one fourteen fifteen. 呃，在马可福音的第一章第十四节到第十五节说，约翰下街以后，耶稣来到加利利，宣传神的福音，说日期满了，神的国近了，你们当悔改，信福音。Okay, you see that Jesus came preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Jesus didn't preach a doctrine. Jesus didn't preach a philosophy. Jesus didn't preach a theology. He didn't preach a law. He preached the kingdom of God. It's interesting that the Bible says that this happened after John was put in prison. The, the Bible says that the law of Moses was all, all until John the Baptist. And the Bible says after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. See, uh, John had, had a ministry. Uh, and his minister was to, to proclaim Jesus as the Lamb of God. But then he was put in prison. That means there was a change of seasons. In theology, we call it a change of dispensation, but she, she do not find that word in, in the Chinese language. Is 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 like a change of administration. Uh, just like it's a change of administration. It was the administration of the law. Was until John the Baptist. But when Jesus came, this was the beginning of a new administration. I call it the administration of grace of the kingdom of God. And now Jesus was bringing back the kingdom of God. That's why he came preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. He came proclaiming another kingdom. Verse 15. And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So, God is, is a God of plans. It's a God of timing. There's a time for everything. Jesus never did anything or less was the time. Sometimes we try to do things out of the time of God. Many things are God's will for my life. But that doesn't mean that it is the right time to do it. A baby takes nine months. If a lady is pregnant with the baby for three months, it doesn't matter how much she prays and fasts. Because she wants to have the baby next day. It's not going to happen. Because it is against the law of nature. The law of nature is that it takes at least nine months. For the baby to be formed and complete in the belly of the mother. Spiritually, it's the same. 
when 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 we have a dream or a vision from God, we have to be careful. To wait for the time for God's timing. So even Jesus was was aware of God's timing. So, but Jesus knew that day. That was the day. That he was going to proclaim the kingdom for the for the first time. That's why in verse 15, he said, "The time is fulfilled." And the kingdom of God is at hand. Or the kingdom of God is near. Or the kingdom of God is here. And then he said, "Repent and believe in the gospel." In the book of Luke. Chapter sixteen, verse sixteen, Luke sixteen, sixteen. Uh, Luke chapter sixteen, verse sixteen, sixteen. Luke chapter sixteen, verse sixteen. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now it's a different administration. It's a, it's a different economy. It's a different dispensation. The kingdom of God. God, God, is, is, he changed a different economy, a different accounting method, a different economy. Yeah, a different economy. Different economy. Yeah, a different administration. Different accounting method. A different system. Different accounting system. Yeah, a different time. Different time. Now it's the time of the kingdom. Now it's the time of the kingdom. Jesus is telling now that the King of the Universe, Jesus says, now the whole universe, the creation of the world, became flesh in the person of Jesus. He became flesh in the person of Jesus. He became flesh in the person of Jesus. Because Jesus was not only a savior. Because he was not only a savior. Because Jesus was not only a savior. Jesus is a king. He 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 is a God made the earth. And God set Adam as the king over the earth. So he made Adam as the king over the earth. But then, because Adam sinned, but then 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 So when we talk about the kingdom, not only we are talking about a future kingdom, even though there is a future kingdom, but when we talk about the kingdom of God, we say that the kingdom of God is God's authority and legal dominion by which Jesus establishes His presence among men. For some reason, for some reason, the church has not understand understood that. And then, ah, Christianity is a kingdom. Christianity is not a religion. With rules and regulations, and tall buildings, and tall crosses, and and candles and crosses, and a lot a lot of、uh, things. That's church. That's religion. But that's not the kingdom. See, the kingdom is 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 the place of God governs men. I'm not talking a political kingdom. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a spiritual kingdom. I'm talking about a spiritual kingdom. I'm talking about a spiritual kingdom. So nobody get nervous about it, okay? So everybody don't get nervous. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is God's authority. So God's kingdom is God's authority. A legal dominion by which Jesus establishes His kingdom. Is God's kingdom's authority and legal dominion by which Jesus establishes His kingdom. Now that day. That day, when Jesus came to Galilee, Jesus made a proclamation. Jesus made a prophetic proclamation. He 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 made a prophetic
And they can bring changes into our life, our families, our children, our churches, our cities, even our nations. Amen. Keep on blessing China. When you pray, bless China. Bless, bless, bless the, the government of China. Even if you might not agree with everything that they do. But you don't curse your own nation. You bless your nation. We, we always bless. We never curse. We can bring prosperity to our own nation. Pray for our leaders. Pray that God will lead them. They don't believe in God. It doesn't matter. But we pray for them. And we bless them. And we pray for the kingdom of God to be established in their heart. So that they will make so that they will make laws in agreement with the kingdom of God. And they have nothing to do with the democracy or communism or capitalism. You see, God, God doesn't favor one system over the other. God is not American. God is not European. God is not Chinese. God is not capitalist. Capitalist. Capitalista. Capitalist. Yeah. God is not socialist. God is a spirit. And God loves everybody. Amen. 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 So the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is able to function under any kind of government as long as we respect the government and pray for the government. Now, in this proclamation of Jesus, Jesus establishes what is the mission of a true church. The mission of the, of the true church is a proclamation and manifestation of the kingdom of God, of the laws of God. Laws? Laws, laws. Uh, 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 and the proclamation and manifestation of the government of God. We are talking about a, spirit, a spiritual government. Where Jesus first, he is the king of our hearts. Then he is the king of, of my family. He is the king of, 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 of my, my children. He is king in every area of my life. That's what the kingdom is, 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 is all about. That's what the kingdom is all about. So we can say that the church has the has the the the, the commission. And the prophetic responsibility to proclaim and manifest the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is the only alternative to the kingdom of darkness. That covers the nations. The nations are under darkness. But only people born of the Holy Spirit and baptized in the Spirit as Jesus was can become the agents of God to proclaim the kingdom of power and glory. Don't preach religion. Don't tell the people what to do, what not to do. Just bring the kingdom of God. Bring the government of God. Tell people that get saved that now they belong to a different kingdom. They used to be under the kingdom of darkness. But the Bible says that we have been translated. From the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light of the Son of God. So before we were in the kingdom of sin. Now we are in the kingdom of holiness and righteousness. Before we were in the kingdom of hatred. 
我们原来是在呃憎呃恨恶和憎恨的一个。Now we are in the kingdom of love。那我们现在在一个爱的国度里面。Before we were in the kingdom of lack and poverty。我们原来是在一个缺乏和贫穷的国度里面。Now we are in the kingdom of abundance and prosperity。但是我们现在是在一个富有一个丰盛的一个国度里面。So what kingdom is 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 better？ 那哪个国度比较好呢？ That's why when 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 you get saved. So, for for some reason, the people who stay in the in the other kingdom. 呃呃，因为某些原因，现在还是在那些原来那个国度里。They clash with you. 他们就和你们有有争突呃冲突。Because those two kingdoms, they don't get along. 因为这两个国度是没有办法相相聚相相相合的。Light light and darkness doesn't don't they don't don't get along. 黑暗和光明是没有办法碰在一起的。Love and hatred doesn't get along. 爱和恨是没有办法碰在一起的。Because they, those those things belong to different kingdom. 因为这两个东西是属于不同不一样的国度。So the church is supposed to bring the kingdom of God. 所以教会的目的是要带把神的国度带下来。Now, what is what is the kingdom? 那什么是神的国度呢 ？The kingdom is the eternal and absolute government of God. 神的国度是永恒并且由神绝对掌权的国度。Is the government of, of God? Is God's sovereign government? The kingdom is the way God governs His angels. Is uh, will have uh, heavenly rulers uh, rule. The kingdom is the way God governs His children. Also, uh, uh, rule their children, God's children. The kingdom is supposed the way God governs His church. Also, is God who rules His church. Let's see the kingdom in the book of Psalms. Let's look at the kingdom in the book of Psalms. Chapter one forty five. One hundred forty five. Hundred forty five. Um. 诗篇一百四十五篇 ，verse eight to verse thirteen， 第八节到第十三节。The Lord is gracious and full of compassion。耶和华是有恩惠有怜悯 ，is low to anger and great in mercy。不轻易发怒，大有慈爱。The Lord is good to all。耶和华善待万。And His tender mercies are over all His works。他的慈悲覆庇他一切所造的。All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you。耶和华，你一切所造的都要称谢你。And then He's talking about His saints。Look what his saints do. We look at his saints. In verse eleven, they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Three words that go together. Kingdom, glory, and power. That's why when you pray the Lord's prayer. The last phrase of the Lord prayer is. 最后一句话在做完最后一句话是。For you is the kingdom. 因为所有的全国度。And the power. 呃，权柄。And the glory. 荣耀。That's why the Bible say they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom. 所以说圣名都要传。And talk of your power. 还有谈论你的大。So we talk different. 所以我们讲话都讲的不一样。We talk about the kingdom of God. 我们讲的也是神。And what is going to be the result if we talk like that according to verse twelve? To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. 好叫世人知道你大能的作为，并你国度威严的荣耀。People have to know that you belong to 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 an eternal kingdom. 这位的人要能看出你是属于一个永恒国度的。That you belong to an unshakable kingdom. 你属于一个没有办法动摇的一个国度的。That you believe that you belong to an invisible kingdom. 你是属于一个看不见的国度的。That you belong to a kingdom that never can be conquered. Because, because verse thirteen says, "Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom." Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. An everlasting kingdom means is 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 an eternal kingdom. Eternal kingdom is always It's a kingdom that will never end. This kingdom will never end. And your dominion endures throughout throughout all generations. Your dominion endures throughout all generations. We talk about dominion. We talk about dominion. The kingdom is the dominion of the king. It's interesting. The word church appears only a couple of times in 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 the gospels. In the in the four you know the the four gospels you know. But the the look for the word kingdom. But you go to find the word kingdom. If you have a concordance, look for for the word kingdom. You go to find 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 the word k
plan is a kingdom. But what is the church? The church is supposed to be the agent of the kingdom. The church is supposed to be the facilitator of the kingdom. The church is like the vehicle. That, uh, that drive the kingdom of God. But what happened to the church during the ages? It began in the right way. In, in the wrong? In, it began in the right way in the book of Acts. But then, then the leaders, they lost their perspective of the kingdom of God. And they made a church just a, a, just a bunch of I mean, just a, a religious structure. That's why I want to bring the church back to the original design. Say with me, we are the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Now, the kingdom is not a new religion. It's not another doctrine. It's not a new philosophy of life. It is the alternative, the alternative of God to fill the human being and the world with his divinity, his power, and his glory. You have to understand that. This is not a new religion, a new doctrine, a new philosophy. No, 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 no. It is the alternative of God to fill every human being and the whole world with his divinity, his power, and his glory. That's why you find like an example in, in Romans 14, verse 17 and 18. It will tell us what the kingdom is all about. For God's kingdom does not consist of food and drink, but of righteousness, peace, and joy produced by the Holy Spirit. Here you find the three main manifestations of the kingdom of God. Wherever the kingdom of God is being manifested, there is righteousness, there is peace, and there is joy. In every church, where the kingdom of God is in manifestation, there is always righteousness, there is always peace, and there is always joy, produced by the Holy Spirit. And then Paul tells us in verse 18, for the person who served the Messiah, or Christ in this way is pleasing to God and approved by people. That, that means that what really uh, uh, pleased God is the, the kingdom. Because when we manifest righteousness, Peace and joy produced by the Holy Spirit. We please Jesus. We please God. And we are approved by people. Hallelujah. Do you want the kingdom of God in your life? Amen. And my Chinese children say, Amen. Amen. I know this is the time where people get sleepy. No? Okay. I get sleepy. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Amen. But if you need to go to the to the washroom and put some uh, cold, 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 cold water, just do it on your face. <laughs> Amen. Now, the proclamation a manifestation of the kingdom of God is necessary to liberate men from all the damage caused by the kingdom of darkness. Sinners are under a cruel king. A merciless king. Satan kills people. Destroy people. Destroy marriages. Destroy our children. Destroy our bodies. But 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 that's the kingdom of darkness. Satan is an evil king. 
But we have a good king. Jesus Christ is my king. He's a king that wants to bless me. Uh, uh, and heal me. And bring blessings into my life. That's, that's why when, when Jesus sent his disciples to preach, he gave them a commandment. Matthew 10, 7 and 8. He told them, as you go preach this message, in other words, make this proclamation. What proclamation? What proclamation? This is what Jesus told his disciples. When you go preach this message, tell the people the kingdom of heaven is near. Tell the people uh, uh, the government of God is, is arriving here. You are agents of the kingdom of God. You are not just a little thing. You are very important to God. You are agents of his kingdom. I, I told you the first night that the, the keys of the kingdom has been given to us as a church. So, we have the keys to open the kingdom of, of heaven. But we have the key to close the kingdom of darkness. With the same key that, the, that we open the kingdom of heaven, we close the kingdom of darkness. That the authority that we have and we don't believe it. That's why he didn't tell the disciple, go and preach. Uh, um, um, preach a doctrine or preach uh, 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 no 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 he said preach the kingdom tell the people the, the government of God is here okay now let's see when, when, when we pray the Lord's prayer that we have been praying for more than two thousand years okay our father who is in heaven how will be your name your kingdom come. We pray, your kingdom come. And what happens when your kingdom come? Your will be done. On earth. As it is in heaven. So we don't pray this prayer just religiously. Only to finish a service. Okay. Uh, in, in Korea, they pray at the beginning of the service. In China, they pray at the end. But it doesn't matter when you pray. If you don't know why you are praying, it's just religion. So, when you pray, let your kingdom come. You are saying, let your will done. Let, let your will be done in my life. So, I can pray this, this prayer. Let your kingdom come into my life. Let your kingdom come into my wife. Let your kingdom come into my children. Let your kingdom come into my family. Let your kingdom come into my finances. Let your kingdom come into my church. Let your kingdom come into my city. Let your kingdom come into my country. What, in, what, what I'm saying is, let the will of God, the, the, the way things are done in heaven, I want the same thing to happen in my life. In heaven, there is no sin. So, no sin in my life. In heaven, there is no sickness. No, no sickness in my life. In heaven, there is no strife. People don't fight between themselves. So, no strife in my life or my marriage or my, or my church. In heaven, there is no poverty. Then no, no poverty or not. In other words, through my prayer, Jesus told me, pray like this. Let your kingdom come. And then you will be done. And immediately, Jesus said the next part. Give up this day our daily bread. Okay. Why? Because he told us, seek first the kingdom. 
You remember when, when, when Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things shall be added unto you. Here he's telling us when we pray, we pray, let your kingdom come, it will be done, and immediately, the next, the next prayer is, give us this day our daily bread. From where do I get my daily bread? From the kingdom of God. That means that if I seek for the kingdom of God, if I pray for the kingdom of God, to establish in every area of my life, then I can, I can pray in faith that the, the bread of heaven, and it's not only bread, if whatever I need for my existence is going to be given to me. But then, but, but then, we pray, let the kingdom come, you will be done, uh, I mean, will be done. Uh, I mean, give what this is our daily bread, okay? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, let's see what we release the operation of the kingdom is forgiveness and love. And then we pray. And forgive us, forgive us our sins. Or, 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 or our offenses. And we forgive those who offend us or sin against us. Because if I don't walk in forgiveness, if I don't walk in love, the kingdom of God is not going to be manifested in my life. And now, then what is the next part of, of the prayer? And lead us not into temptation. Because if I don't forgive people, if I don't love people, if I judge people, I'm going to fall in temptation. Hallelujah. Because if I don't forgive, God won't forgive me. I know because I don't walk in forgiveness, I open the way to the devil to bring destruction and temptation into my life. And then we say, and deliver us from evil. But then how do we finish the Lord's prayer? With a proclamation. What is the, 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 the proclamation? For you are in the kingdom. See, everything that I pray in this prayer is going to happen because you are in the kingdom. You are in the power. You are in the glory. Amen. Amen. So next time you pray the Lord's prayer, you're going to pray with revelation. At the beginning, at the end, it doesn't matter. Just pray with 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 wisdom. So he told his, his disciples, go preaching the kingdom of God is near. And then he commanded them on verse 8. With the power of the kingdom. Heal the sick. Praise the dead. Cleanse lepers. Cast out demons. Freely you receive. Freely give. That's the kingdom. We don't charge for preaching. Hallelujah. <laughs> you were come, my children. Despertaron. Amen. Now, this is very important. The kingdom of God has everything that man needs for this life and the life to come. I have to say that again. Say it again. Wow, you preach, you preach like a Chinese pastor now. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Maybe God will call you to China. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom of God. <laughs> See, that's why <laughs> Jesus told his disciples <laughs> on verse 9. First, we proclaim the kingdom. But now, on verse 9, don't take any gold. Don't take any silver. 
Don't take copper in your money bags. Don't take a, tra a traveling bag or for the trip. Don't don't take an extra shirt. Or sandals. Or a walking stick. Because a worker deserves his food. You know, in other words, he's not talking to everybody. He's talking to people who are agents of the kingdom. People who are proclaiming and taking the kingdom of God. Because all the resources that the agents of this kingdom need to announce and, and, and extend his kingdom are already available in abundance in the kingdom of God. I prophesy that all the resources that this church has that, that this church needs to fulfill its purpose and mission it is already in the kingdom of God. You have to believe that you have to proclaim the kingdom of God upon the finances of this church. The kingdom of God will meet every need. The kingdom of God will supply whatever we need. Because if God give me a vision, He will give me the provision. Because it is His kingdom. I represent God. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. Well, give me a uh, there is a Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C. The Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C. is Chinese territory. Uh, Even though it is in a different country. But in, in, in the Chinese embassy, no American can enter without Chinese permission. The, the, the flag in the Chinese embassy is the Chinese flag. It's not the American flag. Because it is Chinese territory. But the, the Chinese ambassador, he doesn't go to my president in America and tell my president this month we don't have money to pay our electricity. Mr. Obama, can you send us a check to oh, pay the electricity? You will never do that. Because that will diminish the Chinese government. The honor of the Chinese government. The respect of the Chinese government. They respect. The, the, the respect. If they send an agent of China. Called an ambassador. To another country. China is responsible. To keep the embassy. To pay for all the expenses. To pay for all the machinery. Because that belongs to China. The church belongs to heaven. The church belongs to King Jesus. We are an, amb an embassy of heaven on, on earth. We have the we have the 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 the, the flag of the gospel. Hallelujah. That is flying upon the church. So who is going to supply our needs? We don't have to go to the world. Asking the world for money. To do anything in the church of Jesus Christ. Our King Jesus. He is responsible. To pay. For everything we need. So all the resources. Are in the kingdom of God. And I have practiced that. I have practiced that. For 38 years. I am living now in Panama. I don't, have, I don't receive money from my church in Chicago. But every month, the Lord provides all my needs. 
神提供了我所有想所需要的一切。因为我就是神国代理人。Money, 他们给我寄钱。They wire money, 他们会把电汇给我们钱。他们还给我支票。From, from different places, different people. 从不一样的人、不一样的国家里面会寄给我。I am not asking for money. 我也没有他们要。I never ask any church for any money. 我从来没问教会要过任何。But God always provides. Why? Because I am an agent of the kingdom. 为什么？因为我是神国，我是神的一个代理人。So my business is His business. 因为我我的事就是他的事。So God wants me to be fed. So God, God, God knows I need a car. God, God knows I need a, an iPad where I can have my messages. So God provides my, my, my needs. So I am not in anxiety. That's why Jesus told the disciples. Go with me to Luke 12. Verse 29 and 32. Luke 12, 29 to 32. So, so he told his disciples, Stop concerning yourself about what you will eat or what you will drink or stop being distressed. See, don't worry about anything. Don't be in anxiety. Because it is the Gentiles or, or the sinners who are concerned about all these things. Surely your father knows that you need them. Your father knows that you need these things. And then Jesus said on verse 31, Instead, be concerned. Or seek first. Be concerned. Or seek first. The kingdom of God and these things will be provided for you as well. Say, look for the kingdom. Seek the kingdom. Seek God's way of doing things. And all these things will be provided for you as well. And then he, he tells them, stop being afraid. Don't be afraid. Little flock. Because your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. You heard that? See, you are worried about little things. You are worried about what I'm going to eat. What's going to happen tomorrow? I need a brand new shoes. Oh, I need a new shoes. What I'm going to eat tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? Jesus said, "Don't worry about tomorrow." Jesus said, "Don't worry about tomorrow." Look for my kingdom. Seek my kingdom. Work for my kingdom. Be concerned for my kingdom. Be a responsible agent for my kingdom. Be a responsible agent for my kingdom. Be busy. Announcing and proclaiming my kingdom. And everything you need. That is already in the kingdom. Is going to be added unto you. Because it pleased my Father. To give you the kingdom. Amen. And all the blessings are. Do you like this kind of teaching? It makes you very intelligent now. And many churches in China are going to tell you, why you are so intelligent? God loves you so much. God chose you for a special purpose. Hallelujah. Now, how do I live in this kingdom? How do I partake of his benefits? Let's go back to the first verse that we read today. Mark 1, 14 and 15. What did Jesus say? Verse 15. 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom is here. The domain of God is here. Do two things. Do only two things. First, the repent. What is repentance? It's the Greek word metanoia. Metanoia. Say metanoia. Yes, it's a Greek word. It means, it means change of mind. 
Change of attitude. Change of perspective. That's what repentance is all about. When you change your mind about something. When you change your attitude. When you change your perspective. That's repentance. Okay? Repentance, I was going to hell. I turn around. I change my mind. I change my actions. I change my behavior. And now I'm going to heaven. Because I change, I change my mind. The kingdom demands an absolute change. If you want to operate in God's kingdom, if you want to operate in God's kingdom, you cannot stay with that old mind that you had in the world. Now you think in agreement with with the principles of the kingdom. Read the New Testament. And underline everything that has to do with the kingdom of God. As example, the Bible says, Blessed are the meek. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So, if you are proud, and arrogant, you think you are everything, you have to repent. You have to change your mindset. You have to change the, the way you think about yourself. So, you are proud and arrogant, you think you are so important? But then the kingdom comes. And you say, I am nothing. Without God, I am nothing. I need the grace of God. I repent. Oh. And now, I am meek. I am humble. I am nothing without God. I depend on God. I'm going to do God's will. I will never take credit for any way God uses me. Because whatever I'm doing is by the grace and mercy of God. Now I am a kingdom person. I am not an earthly person. That's repentance. So Jesus told the people in his time, you have to repent the way you do things. So Jesus told the people in his time, you have to repent the way you do things. If you mistreat your wife, you have to repent. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not your slave. If your wife is your partner, she's not Jesus is the only Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. So you have to repent. 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 Children, children. If you don't honor your father, if you are rebellious against your father, you have to repent of that disobedience. 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 You have to repent of that dis you don't, you don't help the orphan and the poor. You are not in the kingdom of God. Because in the kingdom of God, you are merciful. So you repent. And you say, I renounce being selfish, being stingy. From now on, I'm going to be in the kingdom of God. I'm a giver. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna bless. I'm gonna have compassion. I change. And now I become a different person. Now I am in the kingdom. So the the first step is what repentance. But then the second step is 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 what? Ah, the second step is what? Believe in the gospel. What is the gospel? What is the gospel? The good news. This is the good news. That means faith. I have to live by faith. I walk by faith. I might not feel the change. But I say it. And I confess it. It doesn't matter what I see in my relationship with my family. I love my wife. I love my children. God is blessing me. God is giving me a job. God is going to bless me. And I say it. God is blessing me. God is blessing me. Because of faith, I I begin to speak those things that I know though they were. Because in the kingdom, first you change your mindset. You change your mind. And then you you talk faith. 
然后你就用信心的话来说。然后你就相信神。然后所以你就相相信，所有的祝福都来都属于你。就是神的国度。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。所以教会。You are the ambassador of heaven. And these people are your employees. They are your assistants. They work in the embassy of heaven. What is the purpose of this embassy? We are here to invade the neighborhood with the, with the preaching of the kingdom of God. Now, what happened when we preach the kingdom? When we preach the kingdom, we bring the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God will, will, will prevail against the kingdom of darkness. There is a law in physics. The law in physics says that two objects cannot occupy the same the same space at the same time. Okay, in physics, and I know you're intelligent. I know you're intelligent. That's why now, now you are, you are, you are, you are lending us money. Two Americans, they're lending money. Because you're intelligent. Okay. 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 Okay, this 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 microphone. This microphone is occupying this space. And unless a stronger force come and move this microphone, 除非一个更强的力量把这个麦克风移走 ，the microphone will stay here. 这个麦克风就一直在这个地方。So it takes a force a stronger than this mic. 它它需要一个更强大的力量 to move this mic. 把这个麦克风推开。That's that I call that the law of displacement. 呃、uh, ，我我叫这个是叫一个取代一个代替的一个规矩规律。That means that that a force 当一个力量来到的时候 ，that is stronger than this mic 比这个麦克风更强的一个力量来的时候 ，will will move the mic 我把这个整个麦克风都推开，推开。Now let's talk about the kingdom of God. 那我们来讲神的国度。The kingdom of darkness. 神呃黑暗的国度。The kingdom of darkness. 黑暗的国度。With sin. 带着罪。Poverty. 带着贫穷， hatred, 带着憎恶， darkness, 带着黑暗， is here, okay, 就在这个地方， in place, 在这一块块的地方， in the neighborhood, 在你的邻居邻舍里面， and and, and 这个这个国度的地方， and Satan is a king of that situation, 你看撒旦就在里面的无数王， and Satan said nobody is moving me, 撒旦说谁也动不了我， these people belong to me, 这些人属于我， this building belong to me, 这幢楼属于我， this neighborhood belong to me, 这个这周围的环境都属于我， but then. An agent of the kingdom of God. A God, a God, a God. He could be a son leader. He could be a son leader. Who is praying and fasting? He comes to the neighborhood. 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 The superior kingdom came. This 更强有力的一个国度来到了 And now the superior kingdom of God. 那这更强到神的国度来到了。Will displace. 就把那个撒旦的国度 The kingdom of darkness. 就把挤都挤了出去 Because the kingdom of light. 因为光明的国度 Will push out the kingdom of darkness. 会把黑暗的国度这样推了出去，挤出去 The kingdom of righteousness. 公义的国度 Will push out the kingdom of unrighteousness and sin. 会把罪恶的国度这样推了出去 The kingdom of love. Will push out the kingdom of hatred. 会把呃这个憎恶的国度呃恨恨恨的国度推出去。The kingdom of abundance and prosperity will push out the kingdom of poverty. 对，丰盛和和呃呃繁荣的这个国度会把这个贫穷的国度推出去。啊 ？We have that authority. 我们有这个权柄。To cause an invasion of the kingdom of God. 去呃带来这个神的国度的一个扩张。And bring the kingdom of God. 将神的国度 into every situation. In the name 
I'm not going to ask for questions. No. <laughs> Listen to this message again. Has somebody that that recorded? Amen. Amen. I will send the pastor the the MP3. Oh, this message I will send to the pastor. So that he can play it. You can put it. Did I help you? Are you sure? I didn't waste. I didn't waste my time. Are you sure? You sure? Let's pray. Lift your hands. And begin to thank God that you belong to to the kingdom of God. Because you are the kingdom of God. Say it. I belong to the kingdom of God. I belong to the higher kingdom. Oh, you have a bounty. Of the kingdom of Satan. I am an agent of the kingdom of God. I'm used by God. I am an ambassador of heaven. On earth. Now begin to pray. Let your kingdom come in, in, into my life. Pray that again. 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 愿你的国度降在我的生命当中。愿神的国度降在我们的生命当中。愿你的神国度降在我们的生命当中。Let your will be done. 愿你的旨意行在我们身上。In my life. 在我的生命当中。Let it be done in heaven. 就在天堂一样。Let your kingdom come. 愿你的国降临。Into my family. 降到我的家庭里。Let your kingdom come. 愿你的国降临。Into my family. 降到我的家庭里。Let your kingdom come. 愿你的国降临。With righteousness. 带着公义。Peace. And joy in the Holy Spirit. I welcome your kingdom. I give myself to your kingdom. Let your kingdom come into my church. Let your will be done in my church. Let your kingdom come into my into Beijing. Let your kingdom come into China. Let your will be done in China. Let your kingdom come into into our governors. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God. Thank you for the authority. Thank you for your authority. To heal the sick. To cast out devils. To do the will of God. 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 To do the will of Hallelujah! 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 Glory! Oh, glory! 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 Oh my God! Do you remember when Jesus said this word? But it is. By the power of the Spirit of God, that I expel the demons. It is evident that the kingdom of God has come upon you. So when the kingdom of God is in operation, demons cannot stay. Because the kingdom comes to invade. And to predominate upon everything that is opposed to the character of God. The kingdom of God always displaces the kingdom of darkness. That's why wherever we go, we have authority. We have power. So when you go for the first time to start a sub meeting in in the building. <laughs> Make a prophetic proclamation. The kingdom of God is here. I proclaim the government of God in this place. And I assure you. New doors are going to open for you. 
Bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. Amen. Amen.